Hey, Don here. Okay, well, this is the next, well, actually, the two days later from my last video. And uh, I can't seem to get this lined up like I thought I could. Alright, so I uh, got that one welded on that bigger, heavier S hook that was came with the, uh, you know, was already on the garage door. And my ca what happened is I was working away, and I kept checking my camera, but at some point, not too long before I quit, it was, well, it got dark on me, and it couldn't, you know, it started to get dark. I have a light out front, but the light had just come on about the time I had this little problem. I wasn't able to see real good at that time. I kept having to use my little magnifying glass with the light, because I don't, I don't see that great anyway. You know, these mag, these, uh, Safety glasses I wear, they're magnifying. That's pretty cool. I've never had first pair of these I've ever had. I used to have to put my glasses on, take take the safety glasses on and off constantly. Uh, so anyway, I cut it in two welding it. I thought I had two or three. Where's my? Thought two or three of these were, you know, already. Uh, I thought they were tacked at least to the uh, hooks. And they looked like crap anyway. Uh, I hit the floor. But that's the hook. I ended up putting two of those little hooks for bungee cords together. They, they melt so quick that I burned. Well, I burned both of them in two, really. One of them was, had, was, still had weld holding it together. And Anyway, I put a quarter 20 bolt that was kind of stripped out on the end in there and welded it in there. And I had it almost finished. Really, if I, <coughs> I decided to, I had this whole side done. Ugly as heck, but solid. Really, it would have been it's strong. And uh, I, I want to put. I decided to put some more on the other side. I thought I was getting tired, and I hit. I, I was hitting it right in there, and uh, all of a sudden, boom! The thing just popped off. I was take. I was trying to hurry, trying to get more done. You know, instead of welding a little bit, grinding welding, I was going a little bit longer. I was getting a little braver, and also more in a hurry. So, uh, <laughs> there's all the, I can't, I still, you know, even with that flip hood, I still, my hand won't hold still, and by the time I get the bit it flipped down, I'll still miss and waste wire, well, waste, I don't know how much wire I use doing that anyway. But anyway, uh, so I've got a hook of some sort. <laughs> but I don't think I need it now. I'll show you. The one thing I worried about, back to the hooks, is, you know, heating that up to weld it, I worried how much that would weaken the wire, even if I've got, I've got three in this one, three strands welded, three rolls, or whatever you call it, welded into there on this one. It starts separating one, two, three, and you bend it. So, uh, I thought I had this where I could see how to, what I was doing, but I don't. I should have done it way different, I guess. Let's see. Uh, let me just pick it up. I was going to fix them to do that anyway. Hold these legs down and hold it. Okay, so this is the original. It's kind of, you know, wound up. There's one of the original coils that they put. They, they stretch out, you know, the coil, the uh, coils of the uh, spring. They stretch it out and pull one out to make basically a hook, you know, but not an S hook like this. And they break there after quite a few years. We, put, we, uh, we found the manuals and the receipt for it. We bought it in 1994, the doors, both doors. So, you know. Uh, that's not too bad, but I will say these over the years. I just now realized this one had broke on one end I knew that because I had just I told about that I hooked a hook just into the spring Never came off until this other end broke and So that has me thinking um, Let me turn this light out here now so that I can sh Up here. I got to looking on the other side I think maybe you can see that I was going to crawl up there, but I don't think I need to. Um, 
that one had broke too and all I did was just get a couple of, uh, open that spring up and hook it over that hook that those hook, those hooks are on every for every every coil every spring has a hook like that and then if you see on the left that u-bolt of the thing big wide u-bolt that's holding the cable I guess I had lost or used the spring or lost another one of the S hooks didn't get it in my spring there no not there there uh anyway it's a big wide u-bolt of a thing that's for a electronics rack for tele for a rack for telecommunications when I had a job in tele stone telco equipment and tele telephone company central offices so anyway um see if I can show it a little more there ah that's my light okay there there's the back of it so it actually fits you know within a one two three of those holes in that uh perforated drilled out angle it's not angle iron it's just angle sheet metal so anyway I can just do that I'll just uh, do it it's, it's never come off since I did it years years many years ago I don't even remember doing it kind of I mean I see that's my work that's all I know <laughs> so I can go over here this one and um, I can go over here, find it, and uh, I figured out what I've, I'm sure I did was loosen these nuts. There's one on either side. Turn this so that I could get that hooked over. See, there's one that's in original condition. It's turned out, and uh, they do that when they make it. I think they bend it and then harden it some more. You know, there's a lot of big. I've watched videos on how they make, you know, different kinds of metal. Well, I used to be, I've worked with metal a lot. I used to be a tool maker, but, uh, but it was mostly aluminum aircraft, uh, sheet metal forming parts, and uh, router jigs is what I worked with when I was a tool maker. But anyway, um, I have watched in free, recent years, you know, on YouTube, you can watch how they do anything. So uh, uh, I imagine they uh, bend it and then, then harden it some more. So that it just you know this stuff doesn't uh, you can't just bend it around it's pretty hard so me welding on it though of course ruined all the hardening and I'm worried that it, as it flexes might not be long before it breaks again so probably my welding idea wasn't the greatest you know anyway I hadn't inspected all this all that much before I started my work should have inspected it more uh, the other side the only reason I really got over there is because I had really from the beginning I kept thinking well I ought to buy some new springs if they're not too expensive and you know, the shipping of course on something like that bring you don't just find them I found a one or two on Amazon that they were they were like twenty seven dollars and they're eight 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 and a half to twelve dollars on one side another side they have a flat rate nine dollar shipping they didn't say exactly what the shipping was on that side and the other one's flat rate nine dollar shipping and they're around twelve to sixteen dollars I think each and I may need some wheels I need to inspect those those wheels I kind of watched them uh, it jerks it has for years you know it jerks and squeaks but see like that one you can, that one's rolling I can make it move pretty easily I think I figured some of them were uh, basically locked up I can turn that one it doesn't have any weight on it doesn't feel like it's kind of wobbly though so it's, the bearings are probably pretty well worn. The other side, it doesn't get open very often. It doesn't even have an opener on it, and it opens pretty easily. But this one's the one that's always been open and closed. We used to have room in here for a car. Yeah, that one's basically worn out. So the, they're around. There's about two dollars each. Not too bad. But I need to. With all my stuff in the way, I can get to this side with the door down. I think I can probably, you know, fiddle around with them. I haven't even done it yet. This side, I guess, I, this table rolls. This is my work table here. But I, I have been doing it three or four times this week. I'll roll it over this way so I can get down in there and, you know, get the stuff. 
So anyway, but part of what you had to do, I didn't ever find, I found the name of it, you know, what, kind of the model name, but not the model number of the doors. And uh, so the way they tell you, if you don't have like model numbers to go by, then you, I guess I could look a little harder with all that. Um, but uh, you, you have to, in order to uh, get the right spring, that you have to know the weight of the door. And the, the simple way, simple but a pain in the butt because I gotta take that other spring off too because you put a regular old scale down on the floor, down in here, some, you know, like in the center, set the door down on it, and then, uh, what, well, that's what your door weighs. But with the springs off, because the springs are lifting on the door, they help you to lift it, you know. So, um, I don't, I don't really want, that's why I thought, oh, I'm just going to fix that spring, and if it lasts, fine, you know. I didn't want to take that other one off, because I remember they're pretty hard to get on and off. They're, I was thinking you had to stretch on them, but you don't. Um, this one's up, and it's just, you know, completely, uh, decompressed. Not decompressed, but anyway, it's not stretched at all. I can't even, yeah, there we go. It's not stretched at all, but... Getting that off of there since it doesn't have a hook on it. That means I have to loosen that bolt and turn it this way. I remember I kinda do remember I don't know. It feels like I remember. My memory's bad. It feels like I remember it was really hard getting it on there. It looks like it was hard getting it on there. And I know from putting these S hooks in this one that it's uh you know, it's a little bit of a trick, if I can find it. It's a little bit of a trick. You know, if you see my other videos, I just drive a, I drive a screwdriver in there and then twist it to w open it up. And it's okay, you know, but it's still a little of a trick. And when you're up on the ladder, I'm really not steady up on ladders anymore. When you're up on a ladder and you're trying to do all that, I'd kind of rather just hook that one up and <laughs> hook all the cables back up here and, uh, and be done. But I won't be done because that's going to break again at some point. So I'd like to get new um, springs and maybe some new wheels. Let me look. I haven't been looking yet. Getting these wheels out, that's the thing. You may have to take this, see like this one, you may have to take a whole joint loose and then bring the door up. You know, like, I guess you could have to do it by hand, pull it by hand, and like, we well, can't take, yeah, there's no other joints in there. It's the only joint, so you'd have to take it loose here, spring it out somehow. We well, can't spring it out with the door in there. So I don't even want to have to take this whole thing off. Might be the only way. Might have to take a whole, this whole bottom rail off. Get the door down, replace the wheel, replace the wheel, replace the wheel. But I don't want it freewheeling. Of course, when it's up, I mean, when it's all the way down, you still got one in the arch. If I can show it. Where is it? Man, it's hard for me to figure out. There it is. Okay, so there's one still in the arch before you get to that plate where they come apart. So... Then all these you could get to. Still we couldn't get to that top one to get it out. I'm sure there's a trick. I've had them come out of the deal and had to force them back in there before, out of the track, when they really get messed up. When things get out of kilter. But uh, I don't have one out loose. Let's see, one side's flat. You can see it or not. Let's see. With the sun out there, there's no way you can see that. Can't seem. I don't have enough light on this side. Well, that side there is flat. This side is curved, and you can you can pull them this way, and then it would come out if it wasn't for this. Now I guess you could take these off. That may be the way that 
That might be the only sensible way to do it. Probably would be easier. Take these hinges off one at a time and put them back on. That'd be a pain. So I'm definitely gonna <laughs> really, really gonna be wanting new wheels bad to do all that. That's the thing, you know, as long as something's still working, you, you don't want to, it's that much trouble, you don't want to fool with it. And then finally it completely quits working, then you can't get your door open. <laughs> so, then you do something about it, like right now. Except for luckily, the door still opens and closes with the closer without a spring on this side. Not a problem, it just doesn't really jerk as much as it did with the spring on there. I think because I had it hooked shorter, to, I thought it needed it. I think it just got things out of balance. But, uh, I'm looking at that. Well, let's see if I can show this side. <laughs> Now that, I don't know if you can tell you, so see how flat that is? And that's round. And that's the jump, the, where they come, two pieces come together. That's what, they're two pieces. The straight one down here and then the bent one. So. Now let's go to this side and show the bent one. The bent one that goes from there all the way down. To the other end, no other separations. Okay, I think I'm gonna loosen this up here and, uh, and then I will uh, just see. That would need to be done no matter what. Uh, oh, okay. I don't know if I can set the camera anywhere up here. I can probably set it over there on those boxes, but then I don't can't see around behind it to aim it. I don't think it matters that much. I'm just gonna say I'm gonna loosen that and turn it, and I'll stop the video and get get that done because uh, unless I can set it on the ladder here we'll see I'll try that first ah, otherwise it's just more of a I'm gonna stop it because I'm gonna have to go crazy shaking this all around I'll start it back up if I can get it aimed. Alright.